All right, ladies and gents, you know the drill. <laughs> Red just lost the longboat here. We've got a very interesting map here where apparently players started with a ship. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it's a community game. Eight players from the community all squaring off for a chance at victory. Um, we are using the map Hyper Random, and I've been enjoying the Hyper Random switch. But look at this. These are the ships from everybody else. I don't think people know about this yet. It's called a boarding boat, not a longboat, but it looks like a longboat. It is a longboat that one boards. I wonder if you could transport with this or how that really works. But yeah, Hyper Random just kind of increases the, uh, the amount of variety compared to Mega Random. And so we've got a pretty interesting terrain. There, there's water that can be utilized. There's obviously lots of land. There's lots of trees. The players are spread out in interesting ways as well. So let's introduce the players. I think it would be wise to start off with Ganji. Yes. So Ganji, for those that follow, follow the pro scene, is the top 50 player in the world. Uh, gets great tournament results, both in team games and 1v1s. And a little fun fact about Ganji is this guy's been watching community games for four or five years. He's been around, right? He's always a solid player, right? But I remember back in 2016, 2017, Ganji playing in these types of games and having lots of interest. So uh, he happens to be top 50 in the world now. And he knew that he was going to have a target on his back. And before this game, he tried to say that Shalker was the problem. He literally was like, I'm telling you guys right now, Shalker needs to be dealt with. Shalker is, is you know, a bully, blah, blah, blah. He didn't really say that, but Shalker then responded with, Ganji, are you high? And I find it really funny because, like, Shalker's been around a long time, and no offense, Shalker, but you don't, you've never really been a player that people should really worry about. <laughs> so, you know, Shalker would admit that himself. It's all good. Uh, Ganji knew that he was, he was really picking on the wrong guy there, but we'll see if that works. So Ganji's playing as the Tatars. Then we have Shalker, longtime mod, and also player in community games who isn't a top 50 player, uh, playing as the Britons. In the yellow, then, we've got Masty James, and Masty James is really solid. Uh, won a community game recently, I think it's like 17 or 1800 rank, so like, usually Masty is going to wipe the floor with people, but now Ganji's here. So Macy's certainly very strong playing as the Celts. Uh, kind of in the middle area, in the green, we've got Crackers. Lieutenant Crackers, the creator of the T90 sound mod, if you've ever heard that. Uh, highly suggest downloading it if you want all of the noises in the game to be replaced with random noises and phrases that I have said. Um, I made a video on that. Anyways, Crackers, big part of the community, once gave me a bottle of scotch when he met me at a meetup in Germany. Like, there's all these stories here. It's interesting. Thank you for that, by the way, Crackers. Um, in the orange, we've got uh, Rammer, Rammeranak, who says, I've never played Diplo. Do you not know who's allied with you until you build a market? So, slightly different experience level here for orange. Uh, in the red, we've got Azu, a player who is also insane with community games. Uh, Azu, I think, is around Macy's level. In the teal, we've got Detour, who's played in a game or two over the years. No, you know, no uh, big backstory maybe compared to some of the others, but has been around, knows what's up. Um, and then in the blue, we have Jason Mitra. Uh, I love how these villagers, this is a slight misclick. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, wait, fixed. Okay. Um, and this is the very first game for Jason in a community game ever. This is the first time that Jason tried to enter into a community game and got in with players like Ganji, Masty, and Azu. Those are going to be the big three. That would be my guess. So, I think we pretty much got everyone. We've got a wide variety of experience levels here. And Kings explode, folks. So, um, it looks like Ganji was creatively bringing in a boar. If a king dies, there will be a big explosion. Other tiny thing to mention, by the way, is that on Hyper Random, the amount on each resource is different as well. So, like, this pig, for example, is 134 food. This gold tile is only 200-something gold. So, things to think about. Um, I feel like water could be very dominant here. I'm trying to look. Like, water... This is all actually connected. Oh, and look what it did. 
There's another um, port in the corner. This happened last week. Oh, uh, and there's also a... Is that a body? On a stick? That is a... That is a... I can't tell if that unit is alive or dead. What is that? That is spooky. What about the other ones? Oh, it's a person. It's a merchant. Standing on the on the port. Interesting. I don't recall that from last time. Yep, it, we're just looking at the back of the merchant. Huh, alright, that's pretty cool. I don't think these merchants will be accessible. I guess, like, you could maybe trade with this. <laughs> but it's just kind of there. Okay, so big Diplo stuff here, okay? So before the game, Azu was w went to Ganji... I mean, this was with the chat room with all the players... And said, Swedish Alliance, please. And Azu is really good. And check it out. Only to you, Ganji. Real talk. Swedish Alliance, I defend you from the terror of this world. Um, and Ganji seems to accept. Says, signal yourself, please. Only talking to you. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. We need a translator. What is this crap? How am I supposed to say that? I complain about reading German words. You think I'm going to speak Swedish? Lite svart at vara allies. I don't even know what half those characters are. Okay, I see T90 in there. Are you making fun of my farms? A bit hard to be allies so far away from each other is what he says. Okay, thank you for the translations. Let's keep it coming. Um... What else we got? Nothing? Okay, so so Ganji's not accepting, basically, but is being nice about it? Hmm. Let's talk Swedish so T90 doesn't understand. Is that what they said? Yes. Of course Azu would say yes. that. Interesting. Now, I saw Masty uh, was talking uh, briefly to Crackers. Oh, Blue said, I'll be everyone's friend. And then Crackers said, that makes me happy. And then Yellow said, I love friendship. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Green's map is not the best. This is one of the worst spots you could have right in the middle of everybody else. But, you know, with good friendship. Like, you don't, you never want to bully the guy in the middle if there's Exploding Kings. I like Exploding Kings because there's less of a power dynamic with the really strong players. Because if the really strong players wish to bully, they could get blown up. Whereas otherwise, someone who's new would really just get rolled. So, for for since we allow all levels in community games, a lot of people ask that. What level we allow. It doesn't matter how experienced you are, you can always play a role. Yes. Snorlax, what's up? Says, hey, T90, first time catching a stream. Love, love ELO. I've never even played this game. Love ELO. You love low ELO? Or you love ELO? Sorry, uh, first time on the stream. I shouldn't make fun of your messages. I appreciate you being here. Let's remove the market events. We don't need that nonsense. Love low elo. Got it. <laughs> wow, holy TC's here from Azu. So I would encourage you to keep an eye on the eco count. Um, Masty's booming like a madman right now. And Celts are pretty good for that. Celts are also really good in late game. And apparently... There is a bit of lag at the moment for these players, so hopefully that smooths out. We did have a game earlier today where someone was lagging and they resigned. So, um, we might have a kill the lagger situation if the player does not want to quit. I'm hoping it would smooth out for them. Mr. Willems says, hey, T90, first time back on the stream in two years. Good to be back. Hey, good to be back as well. Thank you. And Ganji... Oh, wait, Ganji says publicly, I think I know who we will have to eradicate first. <laughs> and Ganji uh, detours paranoid and reaches out and says, hey, it's Shulker, right? And Ganji says, I think it's player one. Oh, they're going to kill Blue because of the lag. Blue is the one lagging. It's his first community game ever. The first time he ever entered. But I think he's the one who's stuttering right now, and that's what Ganji's alluding to. Listen, Blue, don't take offense to it. This this is as old as time, right? This is how it's always been. Kill the lagger is a thing. 
The maps are pretty ornate here as well, which wouldn't help the PC thing. Let's see how things end up going here. Um, has anyone seen... Uh, where is this deer going right now? Has anyone seen the ship's attack? <laughs> One second. Sorry, I kind of want to look around. That deer is going to wander all the way back onto the other side of that wood line, isn't it? Yep. So I can actually tell you why this happened. So when the game spawned the deer, it spawned it on top of a tree. So like this, they'll scatter if that happens. But again, building up here, we'll see how things end up going. Boarding ships are water monks. Really, did, is that what they said? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I like how Hyper Random introduces some new units here. Guys, how are they going to trade here? I'm curious. Like, so yellow signaling just this. They don't see the, um, the ports. Actually, that's not true. They see this, but I don't think you can use trade carts with this. Only cogs, and it's not on water, so that kind of sucks. This is the only realistic corner in which you could build markets, though. This is just all trees. I really like how this map isn't very symmetrical. It's actually quite fun for community games. I'm liking Hyper Random more and more. I don't even need it for, like, the randomness of the resource aspect. That part's alright, but just, like, how much variety is here is awesome. Compared to Mega Random. Ganji is overtaking everyone with villagers right now. 76 eco. And you can see that there is a skill gap here, right? You've got crackers. And you've got detour around 40. You've got blue at 57. You've got rammer, rammer and act around 40 as well. But you know what's deceiving is you look at the gold and think that's a lot of gold. But that's actually only 3,000 gold. But I guess these tiles do have 900 apiece. Thank you, Alex, for the one of many gifted subs. Okay, Bear must have killed something over here. Ra ra ra. And yeah, players are just booming, guys. Not too much else to talk about right now. I'm not seeing any real drama. Um, to me, Masty's doing the tactic I've seen from Masty many times in the past, where Masty just kind of talks to everyone and is super, 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 super lazy about it. Uh, Ganji is, is trying to determine whether or not Blue should die here. <laughs> Blue. Any chance you could fix the lag somehow? Closing all web browsers, etc. Blue says, do any of you guys not use hotkeys? I don't. It is true. Uh, Blue's name was like Farmer Jason or something. And Orange remembers that. Says Jason's playing on a farm. Probably doesn't have great internet out there. And Jason says, yes, I do farm cows and corn and beans. Dang! We got a farmer out here with no hotkeys. Dang. I mean, I'm not one to judge, but the skills do not translate into Age of Empires here, Blue. But still, with no hotkeys? No hotkeys being at 77 eco is really good. You have a couple T90 farms, but it's not bad. But, like, I feel like it's, it's a bit tricky. Like, I, I know Ganji is not really a bully. The Ganji doesn't want to kill Blue. You know, just, you know, because Blue's new and all that. And I don't know, maybe Ganji's sympathetic towards farmers, but... Kill the Lagger is one of those age-old rules that players have followed. We'll see how things flow. Jason did not respond to any of that when Ganji inquired. Now, I just noticed this, this wall of wood, guys. It extend. It looks like an elephant! Oh my god, it's a it's a woolly mammoth. Look at it. That is a woolly mammoth right there. If you're slightly intoxicated, especially. But look. So this the, the trunk of the mammoth or elephant extends over here. And you need to to pass that trunk in order to get this direction. So it's actually, whoa, there's lots of walls of wood. Look at this. Oh, and green is walled between it. That is super smart. Okay. So actually, it's going to be hard to pass here. Everyone is walled between this. They realize this much faster than I did. 
Hey, Ganji, I will make markets at South Corner for trade, FYI. And Ganji, you're being too lazy, bro. Says, all right, don't snipe my king on your way there. Saying this to everybody. I swear, anytime a zoo's in a community game, a zoo is just a big old problem. Speaking in, in Swedish again, can we get a translator, please? Am I high right now? I wish I was high right now. Can some into Nagon Kamer Veleslas? And of, I'm not reading that. Okay, for future reference, I would prefer you speak in English so I know what people are saying. Doesn't feel like anyone wants to fight. Okay, cool, thank you. What's up, Ferox? Revolution, says Azu. And, yeah, maybe they're discussing... They're talking about killing Blue first, the lagger. Okay, so Blue might die. I wonder... So this is Blue's first day here. So I feel bad about the, the whole conversation. First time here. First time entering a community game. I wonder if Blue is going to have that, that sense that it's going to happen. I'm going to assume no. Blue you just said, I'll be friends with everyone and left it at that. And, and then also, I wonder, like... If you're experienced and you're about to die, you send your king towards the person killing you. If you're inexperienced, you probably just try and run away and survive. So I don't know if there will be any huge ram ramifications for, uh, for Red. Okay, they continue to chat in Swedish here. And meanwhile, finally some English. Thank you. Uh, ram, speaking to Yellow, if I did this right, this is only to you. <laughs> I'm chopping a straighter path for trade. And Macy says, well, I can see it. Okay, nice. Okay, that's good teamwork right there. That's smart thinking. Chopping through this, I didn't look talk about the shape of this. It's much harder to, to think about, but... That's smart, because, like, you know, Teal spoke to uh, Ganji about trade. Look where the trade has to go. It has to weave through all this nonsense, which I think is going to be really bad for trade, so... I think cutting through the trees is really important. Is there a hole here? Ooh, that'll be... I mean, that'll be clogged up for sure. <clears throat> okay. So, what we've learned so far is that I can never allow two Swedish people into the same community game. We've also learned... That Kill the Lagger still exists in 2023. Okay? And I, I assume Sa is Kill. Wait, we kill the Lagger? I don't know. They're talking about it. Okay? Ganji's got 198 Eco. Uh, Macy's got 184. Azu's got 185. These guys are going full boom. And then they're just going to delete villagers for military population space later on. Crazy stockpiles, I'm sure. As you can see it there at the bottom left. Red said, I'll do it. Thank you for the translators. Macy says, anyone want a sheep? I have a spare. And Ganji says, this lasts longer for me. Send it over. And Macy says, sound good. Okay, where's the sheep? <laughs> That's so stupid. They, <laughs> their resources are insane. They are well beyond sheep. The fact that they both care about this is funny to me. I don't think Ganji actually cares. I think Maisty knows that that's a stupid offer. Where's the sheep? Don't lie about the sheep. I better see a freaking sheep. I don't see a sheep. I'm disappointed. Anyone else see it? It's like where's where's sheep instead of where's Waldo right now? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, so red is turned on blue right now and blue had trade cards within red's walls oh my god we have the flemish revolution from red oh my god that is really pricey these days too because the the revolution is based on how many villagers you have so the 199 eco that red had is now 199 flemish militia the button has been pressed and jason the lagger is the target. And Jason says, Ah, Red, what I do. Oh, man. And Blue's gonna turn on Red, and Blue is to defend from this. 
But OERs are actually should be incredible here. And Azu says there is a rule, kill the lagger. Just as Macy says there's a lag spike. So yeah, it's, it's just nothing that Blue did really. It's just apparently the red clock. And it would make performance better for everybody if Blue is killed off. So, you know, it's been a long time since I've talked about the revolution. The thing about the revolution is just a numbers thing, right? It doesn't matter how good your army is. If someone instantly gets 200 army and decides to use it against you, you're going to be screwed in some capacity. And that's, that's the problem here. There's just too much. Now, this isn't something you see in competitive games anymore because it's too expensive competitively, but it is still part of the game. And these Flemish militia are insane. Castles are going down. Castles are being denied. There's a lot of grunting. Listen. <laughs> Lots of gruntage. And I wonder if Blue realizes now I'm screwed. Because, again, we, we brought this up before. Ex the kings explode here. And Blue says, fine, boom then. And well done, Blue. Well done, Blue. If you could get this king into Red's base, that is, this could be amazing. Now, if I'm detour, I'm asking Blue to take a detour away from my base. Because this could be awful. Azu just researched treason twice to find out where that king is. And Azu sees it. And oh, God, Jason, you got to get out of here. Jason, 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 Jason. Jason, born your way out of this mess. Oh, shoot! Detour, run away! Run away, detour! Life is pain! Life is unfair! Run! Run, 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 run! Oh, poor detour! Run! Don't die because of this! Oh, jeez, no! No, 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 no! Evacuate! Oh, this is horrible. Horrible for Teal. Explosion happens. That whole army, the whole base goes down. And the king comes home and the king's like, well, time for me to rebuild from scratch here. <laughs> um, Ganji says, no more lag. Amazing. So, sorry, Blue. It is, it is one of the old rules of Age of Empires as, ooh, ooh, Crackers has turned on Ganji to kill the king with the scout? Crackers! Super ambitious! You're trying to kill a top 50 player in the world with a scout. Tried to go for it. Didn't work. And now allies Ganji again. And let's see what happens. Honestly, that would have been pretty epic if it worked out. I don't know if Ganji's going to trust you now, Crackers. And Crackers is just a joke. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Just a prank, bro. <laughs> Just a joke. And Detour says, uh, I didn't like those buildings anyway. So, okay, Detour's gonna reboot. Obviously, that, that hurts significantly, so Detour's the weakest player in the game. Uh, Blue, salute to you. Uh, you, you I, I say this to anyone. Regardless how bad it goes for people, they're part of the story. That is this game, you know? You were chapter one, Blue. The kill the lagger chapter. Ganji has not responded at all. Um, Azu says, I'm no bully. He was lagging, frowny face. And uh, is just trying to make sure that people don't see him as a bully. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oh, wow. What? Oh, my God. Orange is making a move on Azu here. With Navy? With, with cannon galleons and ballista elephants. And there's still some leftover revoltage here so you know i was just gonna comment on the fact that red has all this army and red's not using it right now but now red's gonna use it and i mean that's still a lot of flemish militia and like we said before it's numbers that matter which is what makes this tech insane cracker says ally me ganji it was a joke like 11 haha -ha. <laughs> and ganji says okay okay it was a joke like 11, haha. -ha. That is a copy pasta if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Ganji accepts the apology, but Orange is probably regretting deciding to attack Azu here. I mean, the, the army comp was good, but the numbers were not there, and, and Orange says, I regret my choices. Wow. I mean, 
yet another easy YouTube title right there. I feel like, you know, th this should have been very obvious, Orange, but we all got to figure things out in life. I imagine that's Red saying, Orange is attacking me. I'm learning Swedish, guys. This is nice. And yet again, Red can say, not my fault, basically, right? You attacked me, and then Blue was lagging. So a lot of, like, no-fault kills happening here, which is important in these games. Ganji's chilling, and I imagine he's banking a ton of resources, and he, when he's ready to play, he's going to be ready to play, but he's expecting to have a big target on his back. And so far, he seems pretty content with teaming with the zoo. Which means that Green and Teal, the two bottom score players, kind of funny to me that Detour is actually below Blue score right now and Blue is defeated, but those players are directly between that alliance. Now, chat messaging is hard here, and uh, Detour initially was just talking to himself here, and Detour is going to say, Guys, does anyone want to trade with me now that I am half dead? You know, normally you want to come off somewhat strong in the game, but sometimes there's times to just admit that you're screwed. And then maybe people will have sympathy on you. So, Yellow says sure. And, <laughs> wow, this is pretty savage from Red. <laughs> Red says Orange probably needs trade because he's slaughtering Orange's eco right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty savage. Well, you know, file one after the other. They file through the gate here. Yellow is letting red through, by the way. Like, yellow could lock the gates. I don't think yellow really cares, and... Orange is gonna have to use this king in some way, but the king can't pass through the Great Wall of Wood here. To get to... Oh! <gasps> what? There is a path! Oh! And the weary trade carts... They're showing the way. Because, yeah, you've got to run. And you've got to run right into Red's base. Okay, now Red's smart. Red's research trees in a bunch this game. And Red will have got the notification. And Red noticed this. Again, Red, Yellow, Purple, all really good players compared to standard community games. The thing is, where do you kill this? Well, there would be perfect. Orange stopped moving. And that's actually more than fine. Orange goes down. Red will take damage to this from the explosion, but if the king would have gone further, it would have been a bigger problem. There was a chance there for Orange, but I think Orange was probably trying to use the cannon galleons or something else. But, I mean, that's that's a good example of... of um, well, we've got people with children watching, but, uh, you know, like, uh, around and found out right there. Right? All right, so... We've got blue dead, we've got orange dead, we've still got poor Detour below them both in score. Cracker says, you kill me at the end and go for win, and I take number two. This was a suggestion to Ganji. Shocker has said, like, nothing this game. Ganji just pointed something out and said, I don't like this Shocker. And Cracker says, Shocker is always, always bad. Is this like... <laughs> Why is everyone being so mean to Shocker? He hasn't said anything. <laughs> oh, man. Variance is pretty frustrated with both kings. Well, uh, listen, if you're frustrated, imagine how Teal feels. Can we can we at least appreciate that Teal wasn't salty with what, with what happened earlier? Like, at least Orange's king did some damage to Red. Orange clearly was outclassed, but, like, Blue straight up chilled in Teal's base. And Teal's just vibing with it somehow. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ganji trading to the port! Yo! And you know what's a big deal about this? Is that Ganji, a top 50 player, does not need to have an ally to trade now. That is a big deal. So he's been clearing this out for some time. The elephant's kind of... Well, he just... He lost a little bit of head weight, I guess. It still looks like an elephant. Hmm. Everyone else has to deal with these weird humans. But Ganji basically trading with himself. 
Okay, Red says something. Are you just sim cityying? Red has been very active. Red has killed two kings this game. Now, if I saw Ganji speaking Swedish publicly, I'd be like, like in the game, right? I'd be like, yo, who are you talking to here? But I think Azu did make no secret that he was also from Sweden. Do you have fun playing SimCity? Okay. Thank you. Oh my god! So, Ganji's Tatars, and Tatars get tons of range on their trebs. I think it actually should go up to 20 range. I think a tech is missing. It could be wrong. Maybe it's 19. But there's 25 trebs right there. Detour says, I am surprised that Shalker is still alive. And Shalker says, why is that? It is 19? Okay. You are a celebrity, says Detour. Shalker says, not really. Well, that's what any humble celebrity would say, right? Not really. Did downplay it. Shalker downplaying his fame. I think people just really wanted to put the target on Shalker for some reason this game. <laughs> Ganji says, time to 14, turns on Shulker, turns on Masty, turns on Orange, and turns on Blue, but obviously two of those players are already dead. And Shulker says to everyone, Ganji turned on me, and Masty says same, and it's about to go down. So masty has got a really good trade setup on the other side, guys. Like, one of the best. Way better than what Ganji has, trading down here towards Orange's markets. And Ganji says, I turned on all... Letting the world know that that's the case, but I, that is not true. Ganji did not turn on teal and did not turn on red here. Red is going to be itching to fight. We know that. Detour might not want any part of it. I also just noticed that red's king is out. And red's king is going to... Oof. He's never left these walls. He's scared. He's always hoped that he could live a different life outside of this kingdom that he was gifted by his father. But the second he stepped out there, the, the water was muddy. And he was like, nope, not for me. And it gets rewalled. I wonder why Red's doing that. Detour says, feel like no one wants me. Oh, that's sad. And then big fight over here from Purple. Elite Keshik, heavy cab archers, and then Trebs. And Ganji says, Sweden versus the world. Let's go. All right, Sweden versus the world. Here we go. Is Detour Swedish? <laughs> this is where I would love it if, like, Shalker was like, actually, I'm, like, 5% uh, Swedish. I did a test last year, all right? What percentage of Swedish heritage is acceptable here? Because I'm pretty sure... I've got a enough in me for us to continue an alliance here. So, ooh, Shulker Onager cut. Super sneaky move from Shulker. He wanted to make his play. Going to be really hard to surprise a player like Ganji, though. And Ganji immediately walled behind here like a god. Um, so that's, that's good enough to hold that out and continue his push here. Trebs are going to take down all of Shulker's stuff. Yellow's going to be here to help. And it's going to be mainly Halbs. I'd like to see some Siege from the Celts in support here. These Trebs are going to wipe out all these buildings very quickly. Detour says, I got decimated and am low on gold, but I seek joint glory more. Oh. Oh, wait. Detour said before that, guys, do you know what Italians were famous for in war? Mercenaries. Just saying. <laughs> Azu says, what's your price? And then Teal said, I got decimated and am low on gold, but I seek joint glory more. Interesting. Interesting setup to that whole thing. Well, Crackers is right next to all this, and Crackers was turned on as well. And so Crackers is going to turn on Ganji now, and it's going to be a lot of players against Ganji. And for this being a Sweden versus the world type game, I'm only seeing one Swede really fighting, and that would be Ganji. Now... Obviously, the Trebs are going to take some time to go down. Uh, you know, Cav Archers are killing a lot of stuff behind all this, but they, they will go down. And Azu says, I will pay you to attack Ganji and help Green out. Oh, baby, that's a plot twist. That is a plot twist and a half right there if that were to happen. 
But remember, Ganji's the king, right? Ganji's this top 50 guy. And Red, using Swedish, using the native tongue, has lured Ganji in to friendship. Uh, Azu says, never mind, I will not. Ganji is kind of losing already. Okay, well, that was, that was lame. That was super lame. Uh, it's kind of funny, Detour turned on Ganji. Literally turned on Ganji, and then Red was like, nope, just kidding. It is true, though, Ganji's not pushing. But what's nice here for Ganji is at least there's trade to someone who is not a, a player in this game. That is helpful. Well, Cracker says Red help versus Ganji, and Azu says you three people can do this. Not very supportive. You three people. Don't even give them a team name. But Red has plans. Honestly, if I were Red, I would have deleted my Flemish Militia by now, but... So Azu now is going to reach out to Ganji and say, X-Kings. Like, tell me where their kings are. Ganji's obviously very busy at the moment, and Ganji in a moment might be like, where's the help? Who are you going to attack? So Red needs to act soon, or Ganji's going to know what's up. Ganji started a war without planning it with Red, too. But well, maybe I missed something in Swedish, but... Red says again, X-King. But we've got Mali and Camels with insane attack. Not fully upgraded, but still solid attack. Held Siege. Infantry. Britain Arbalest. Like, we've got crazy army here. From green, gray, and yellow. Uh, Teutonic Guy, thank you for the 43 months of subbing. Boston Spartan, welcome in for the first time with the Prime. Glad you could make it. You're welcome. Ganji has not said anything. And those messages were going to Ganji from what we were seeing on screen. But it's understandable that focus is on the micro. And big siege on the shots are landing on the cav archers. And this is more and more of a problem here for Ganji. At some point, he might reach out for help and to inquire on what's happening with Red. Now, Red has moved forward, including pigs, which is funny. Um, and it seems like Red might be making a move towards Yellow here. Yellow and Red really never talked much this game, but Yellow is top score. And while I think in the back of Azu's mind, Azu really wants to kill Ganji in the end, I think that is only because he thinks that that is his biggest threat to the throne. And as the pigs continue to be microed, which is just because he grouped up the pigs, and that's funny. Can everyone laugh? Just laugh because I talked about it three times and made it awkward. I think now, because Ganji's taking losses, um, now Red is thinking, I might need him. I might need to keep Ganji alive, or at least that Ganji's been pushed back enough. Let's not make her move for him. We got to make her move for yellow. Thank you for the pity laughs. But like, I, I am a little surprised that Ganji hasn't been like, how's it going on your side or something. This is Red's third attempt now. Boom! And Azu says, Ganji, where is Green's King? And Ganji says, don't know. And Azu says, spies. Um, stockpile for Ganji is super low. He doesn't have the gold. So maybe Red will need to send some gold here to, to allow Ganji to do that. There we go. Azu actually sent gold to Ganji. Okay. So treason was researched. But Ganji would now have to signal this. Wow, Cracker has even raided Ganji here. Um, this would now need to be signaled. And there's a signal there from Ganji. This is letting Red know. Honestly... Macy's done a pretty crap job at hiding the king. Like, there's only one flag, and that's it. So I think red being allied could have actually looked and not seen flags here. You, you, this looks amazing. This looks like something out of an AI, like like a campaign. But there's no king in there. It's over here. Um, at least with green, there's like one thing garrisoned. Ganji is going to suggest Cannon Galleon because of all the water, I believe. Um, and Ganji did say that directly to Red. 
But you gotta say, Tatars are just... I think they're a bit worse than all the other civilizations that Ganji's up against. Certainly more difficult to play. And also, it's three people versus one. And this is Ganji's teammate. And Ganji's teammate is making a move for Lieutenant Crackers. And Lieutenant Crackers has been so focused on Ganji. We actually have... Looks like Teal making a move against Ganji down here. Ganji needs the support. Here comes Red. Crackers needs to run somewhere. Any direction Cracker runs, Crackers will do damage to one of the, the Swedes. But I don't think Crackers is going to be able to run far. The King is going forward. Does Red let it happen? No. Red's going to attack this King. Red is going to kill this King. And Lieutenant Crackers, who we mentioned at the start, is in like the worst possible spot. Right smack dab at the middle. Gets killed. And now Ganji feels like this alliance is even stronger than it was a couple minutes ago. Masty reacts with the, oh my. <laughs> uh, Cracker says, oh boy. <laughs> and obviously explosion will happen here. Explosion clears out most of Green's base. So we have three people dead, five players to go. And that will boost Ganji's confidence, I'm sure. Because Ganji now is only up against two people here. Oh my god, Ganji. This is... I mean, it is Celt Siege Onagers, but... Not your finest micro here, my friend. And Treb's against the Siege Onagers here. Is Orange still neglecting work? I know I said earlier I should be working right now, but this is too entertaining to leave. Orange is still here. Orange is still in the game. Not even just watching the stream. In the game right now. I'm sure there's a lot of people that relate. Um, no reaction from Masty. Not very hasty for Masty. <laughs> and Shulker also hasn't been very hasty either. Shulker is in like full defense mode. Uh, very concerned that Ganji could make a move. Especially now that Green is dead. That makes sense. Holy castles here from Masty. Like, okay. It is a problem. It is a big problem for Shulker and Masty. That Red is not teamed with them and fighting with them. Like, and there's no conversation towards Red, right? Like, listen, Macy's played in a few games. I've never felt as though Macy has been this incredible dip lower. And that's normally the case with people who are really good. I think Red has been the best dip lower so far uh, of the top three and killed the lagger, obviously. And, you know, has been, has formed a team and has shown interest in potentially having a backdoor alliance, a sneaky alliance with Teal, a weaker player. But you need to be incorporating Red into your plans right now. If you're you need to be like, hey, what's up? I think he's just like, well, Red's against me. I'm not going to say anything. Let's see what happens. And Shulker's losing ground. Now, Shulker might begin to get a little bit more desperate. And Shulker has cut through. And the king for Ganji is on the move. That is great heads up play from Ganji. Because Ganji's pushing right now. And has to pay attention to this. But did notice that sneaky move there from Shulker. And Shulker, he knows how to YOLO. The amount of times I've said you just go for the king, it doesn't matter if you lose army, is too high to count. But unfortunately, there's no king here. And he just researches treason. And he gets the notification the king is now here. So he's probably disappointed. I think the king was in this tower. And he knew that. And so the wall was deleted. Ganji ran away. That's a really nice play. Reg is still chilling. Teal's still chilling. Um, and I wonder, like, I wonder if Detour has a plan. Oh, <gasps> no way, dude. No way. This is suicide. But maybe Detour's living and Detour feels like I shouldn't even be alive. I shouldn't even be alive anyways. Oh my god, Detour, your traps aren't on the castle yet! Detour's making a move against Red! But the Trebs don't have the range! Or do they? Or don't they? Or oh no! Oh, this is a disaster for Detour! Will the Trebs do any damage here? If the Trebs get enough hits, maybe there's a chance. There's a lot of Trebs. They might all get a chance. The Arbalest just need to kill the King. This is going to be super close still. This You got to somehow get that King when it hops out, if it hops out. Detour is not going to kill this king. And not the best execution I've seen on a king snipe. Detour did go for it with a lot of trebs. It was just the positioning that hurt. 
And now Red's been looking for a target. I think Red knows exactly who he needs to go for. As Shalker is also dying. Shalker is in the north right now with his king. He has run away. He's losing everything. So Red's going to have to deal with Teal now. This is looking very good for the Swedish team. And that deal that apparently you know Red was going to make with Teal probably isn't going to happen now. But Red says so, dot, 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 dot. Teal, that was a fail. Ally, and Detour says to everybody, down if you are Red, which is a little plot twist if people are paying attention, but they probably aren't. And then says only to Teal, I was just so bored. My bad, I will make it up to you. Wow, Red is really attentive. Azu is super good. Says that was that all chat was a big mistake. So Red noticed that that went to everybody there, and now Red's got to be paranoid about what the others are going to think about that. Hmm. Nice kills there from Masty throughout all that. Azu says, "How about you, Treason Ganji King?" So Red still wants information on Ganji's king. Dang. Okay. Remember, Ganji's still trading here. Ganji's still trading. Red does not have a, a good trade route like that, right? Shalker researches treason. And, but, like, Shalker is really down to, to the end here. Is it just me or if Masty and Shalker have, like, no communication? Like, for, for players that are right next to each other that are fighting a common enemy, they have not, like, worked together really at all. <laughs> Also, shout out to Shalker with these skirms. I assume he's going to go after the onagers. He might try and sneak through. I think he wants that king. Okay. Treason was researched by Detour. Ganji is asking Red for gold. Ganji doesn't have a lot of gold coming in from the trade, but there is trade there. And wait, what? Wait, hold, wait, what, who, what? Excuse me? Hold on, what? Wait a second. The king was there. I didn't think the king was here. No way. I'm looking at chat. You're freaking Shulker who Ganji put a target on earlier killed God, uh, Shulker killed Ganji's king. Wow, what a blunder there from Ganji. Top score goes down, and Shulker is pumped. And Ganji says, what? Damn it, man. GG. And that was probably, you know, due to the heat of the moment, a bit of a misclick, right? And Shulker got it. And maybe Ganji was right when he said Shulker's the biggest threat here. And Shulker says, I don't know why he sent his king there and is, is loving life right now. And I think at this point, the Shulker doesn't care what happens the rest of this game. Macy now figures we need to reach out and start to Diplo now in this Diplo game. Says, hi, Shulker and Teal. I think we kill Azu. Azu was with Ganji. True. All very true. Red needs to start making some moves dipl diplomatically as well. I've never seen a chat from Red and Yellow before. Those are the other top two. You had Ganji as number one, Macy and then Azu, two and three. Teal, I know I blew up your base. I stopped your trade, but let's kill yellow and gray. I really like the chat from red. Seriously. Like, red, red's Diplo has been really good this game. He's constantly making plans to potentially kill Ganji because he knew Ganji would be a threat. Um, yellow said... Ganji yelled something about Sweden, and Azu's also Swedish. Okay, so they're putting two and two together here. Oh, wow, look at this. Detour goes to the other two in the north. Says, Macy and Shulker, hi. I have a thing for red. If you do... If you dow, I do. I don't know what that means. Detour then responds to red and says, hi, red, let's. Okay, so Detour's like, sure, red. What do you ever want to do? We'll do it. I think Teal's trying to make a deal with the others to backstab Red here. I think Azu is next. Yeah, Ganji thought that king was in a tower. Uh, I think we can look back at it. I think he probably put it in a TC like someone said. And then sent villagers to wood and thus sent the king there. 
But like, red was fully justified in doing the damage to teal that, that happened this game. The blue king blowing up teal was just unfortunate. That wasn't red's fault. And then obviously teal tried to kill red. But red has to work with teal or try to because there's no other option now. Red turns on yellow and kills all the siege onagers there with the hustlers. Very well played. I feel like Azu's going to be in big trouble here. Because if Ganji was still in the game, that's a distraction. But now it's like Ganji being out of the game, Teal still probably wants to kill you. Yeah, Teal's making trebs. Like, there's no world in which Teal is doing this to help Red. And it's going to be really tough to stop Ma Maisty with, with Kelts here. And then there's Shalker. Like, could Shalker kill Yellow or something? I don't know. Yeah, Shalker would not have predicted Shalker killing Ganji with Skirmishers. Would not have put that on my bingo card for this game. But that's Community Games for you. Shalker leaving Yellow's base. Was there for safety when Ganji was alive. Is coming back home. To a very tiny base. They were the Skirmishers that did it, by the way. Castle going up for Masty. How production isn't consistent enough to get too excited. And Teal now turns on Red again. Not going for the surprise this time, but Red may be expecting it and realizing it says, oh no. So yeah, it is a 3v1 on paper. Uh, Well, it's not a 3v1 yet because Shalker hasn't joined. A 2v1 on paper, I guess. And then Shalker, I imagine, will eventually make the moves. Red's king is running out of the base. It's interesting, and the Detour isn't as strong a player, but happy to use the Arbalest against the Bomber Cannons, which is worth it. What is Red doing? I assume Red is doing this intentionally. The Bomber Cannons have gone down. Maybe Red feels like the end is near, but Red is still has a massive army here. Is it possible that this King... It, it was misclicked over here. There's no way, right? Just research treason. Red is giving up. Red's going to make a play for somebody here. Or maybe Red's going to hide in Ganji's base. That would actually be really smart. To hide in a dead player's castles. That's actually... That would be... Yeah, that's really smart. Azu has been one of the best Diplo players we've seen in a long time. Like I said, experienced. A good player, but the Diplo has been amazing from Azu. Still is not a big fan of the Swedish and needing it to be translated. But it's added some plot. So we'll take it. Because, like, when people research treason now... They're, they're going to see a ping in Ganji's base, and they're going to be like, huh? Like, it's not as obvious. You'll be looking at Red's base when you research it. And it's not going to be there. So, Red making moves. There's lots of walls here from Yellow. And Trebuchet's here will maybe take out that castle, but there's a lot of work to be done here. A lot of castles to take down. Teal's still making a move. Red would not have been able to defend this base, which is part of why the king left. Military count for Red's insane, but you gotta wonder, can Red do it alone? Paladins can find some amazing kills here. These three Paladins could end up killing like 40 eco over time. All the trade, but the trade will take a lot longer, and the villagers. Castle down, gates down, and Hussar is still sniping siege onagers. Halbs will find the kills on the Paladins, but the Burgundian gunpowder behind will kill those Halbs. And with no siege in the mix, Azu can continue this journey forward. Teal's still continuing forward, has to tread down the walls, and will eventually run through. Would love to see demos here. I feel like demos could be really strong. And I, I kind of, like, if I'm Masty right now, I'm like, yo, Shulker, where you at? <laughs> where you at, buddy? <laughs> like, where's my support? Shulker just built... Oh, man, Shulker's getting ready. 15 barracks there. Shulker's eco has been weak for a while ever since he attacks from Ganji. But Azu basically needs to defend from a big army while also killing a big army at the same time. Also, nice finds here down here from Yellow with nice little raids. Siege Rams coming in from the back door. Um, no, it is not Shulker's trade that's idled. That is Green's trade. Um, Shulker's trade is still running, so that's good. They have really talented players here in this game. I still feel like it would be difficult for Red from here just because of all the factors involved. 
Red will surely run out of resources. Yep. And and the end is near for Red. The end has to be. Look at the stockpile. The stockpile is horrible. I don't know how many units are in queue. But I think after this round of Hussars, that will be the end. And the Halbs and the Wood Raiders can hold from this. Losses have been taken, but the stockpile... Macy's got 30k gold here. Did someone research treason over the last couple seconds? Did I miss that? Because the king moved to a different TC. Red also going to reboom. And Red says, I do gotta say, I love your SimCity base yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow says, then people attacked me. The base does look really cool. So Red's gonna try and reboom. And, and the only time a reboom works here is if people get bored, basically, of trying to find you, and they've had disgruntled mints. That's not a word. They, you know, they've had disagreements in the past. Right? So, like, if Shulker and Yellow had history, and then Red is just somehow alive for the next 20 minutes, then I could see Shulker and Yellow attacking each other. But I don't, I don't think there's history there. No, not disgruntled mints. What is... What is... I just created the word, alright? If you've been disgruntled many times in the past, those are disgruntlements. Alright? <laughs> right? And make... You know what I meant. <laughs> Grunting mist. Oh my god. Alright, so again, push continues here from Detour. Red is not willing to give it up. A lot of players here in Exploding Kings would give it up. But Red wants the win. Hussars will affect Yellow's eco. And uh, yeah, Hussars into the trade will really slow Masty down. Masty realizing this will drop a castle here. And Detour is going to reach out to Masty. All the Bombard Cannons with their little, little legs go down. Yikes. Um, Hi, Masty. I will support you against Shalker. He is Britain's. You are Celts. You cannot possibly stay allied. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And Macy responds. Says true. And uh, accepts it. And also spoke specifically to Teal. Which is a big deal. Because Macy hasn't done that the whole time. Azu says. Well you have beaten me because no trade. Well Red's killing trade right now. Not killing Shulker's trade, right? Am I, or am I wrong? No, it's it's just mixed in there. I mean... Oh, here comes Shulker with the skirms. Great skirm raid. Oh, God. You know Ganji's dead, Shulker. This isn't going to add to the highlight reel. Shulker, this player, he's dead. He's dead. He's defeated. You killed him. Okay, nice job. Um, I mean, obviously, Ganji's trade is not going to do anything right now. Um... So it's not a big deal to kill that. Chalker's still just chilling right now. Disgruntlements is totally a thing at dictionary.com. Is it? Nice. Now what about disgruntled mints? Now look that one up. It's like a mint you take when you're disgruntled with your coworkers. It'd be nice. I I wonder if Shulker wants to take some of this trade. I think Shulker's going to tread down the towers and eventually maybe try the same idea. Was there any more chat that I missed? No, Red just said you beat me because of no trade and that's it. Okay. So, there was treason, guys. See what it does? And Macy sees it. And Macy signaled it. Macy noticed that. Wow, well done. I mean, there's not any other signals, right? There's only one, because there's one enemy. And Macy tells the others he's in Ganji's TC. You don't need to tell Shulker twice. These skirmishers are on a mission to kill another king. If that's a thing, I would have the freshest breath. <laughs> oh, wait. Red with the AI resignation. A catastrophic collapse of mine trade routes disrupted the flow of vital resources, crippling mine economy. No wonder thou wert victorious. But Red, you still have a king, though. You still have a king that could explode. 
It feels like Red is still trying to boom. Red is even trying to steal some Ganji's farms. Red says, so with that said, how about we do some Diplo? And Yellow says, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> Red, you know what it is? I think Red's like trying really hard and Yellow's like, nah. Uh, here's some more explanation. You didn't help for Ganji and actively sabotaged us. Mr. Sweden Alliance over there. Yeah, that's true. Way to call him out, Masty. Yeah, that's true. Spot on what happened. Now, obviously, um, what they don't know is that there was a moment where Azu was thinking about betraying Ganji. Shocker, are you kidding me, dude? Are you still... Shocker is... Ganji, are you watching right now? You, you still watching by chance? Are you in the stream? I'm just wondering, if you look at what Shocker is doing in this corner, if you feel worse about yourself for losing your king. <laughs> Shocker's probably not even looking at this. It's just funny to me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. Teal getting very angry. WTF is this treb pathing. I don't know why you would ask Jesus about such a thing, but... Maybe Jesus can help. Uh, here come the Rams. Now, what does Azu see here? Okay, Red's POV. Red can see this, because obviously it's Ganji's base, right? So, is Red doing anything else? Not really. I mean, guys, Tia, Macy's going to win this game, right? There were three big names. Masty, Ganji, and Azu, and the two Swedes tried to team together. They're not really team together. Azu might regret not helping Ganji more now. But there's no way that Masty goes down to Shalker or Detour, surely. Let's see. Azu's trying to Diplo. So, Shalker, any chance on you to have some deal? Question mark. They need help. They need... To, to beat Masty, they need help. But they've been... Buddies with Masty for a while, so they might be okay with that. Shalker says, not really. <laughs> These responses are hilarious here. <laughs> no thank you and not really. Maybe you go to Teal now, you get something. Maybe you get a, a maybe. A maybe's better than a no thank you and a not really. Um, where is that king? King is on the move. King is on the move! The skirmishers aren't there anymore. That was my first thought. Shalker's just casually trebbing here. They will have to treason again, and Red is trying to run into this corner, and Red is still not giving it up. Red is going to try and stonewall this to keep the king alive in that corner. Now, like I said before, the longer Red survives holy walls, the more the others will get antsy in most cases. And I think Shalker wants another highlight. I think... Hold on. Where are the castles? There's there's going to be... Onagers. Oh my god! Shocker's blending in with this environment! Gray and yellow kind of... They, they kind of look similar at first glance. And Shocker's going to aim to kill Masty. 100%. He's building up the longbows there. Is there a C sneaky siege workshop in here somewhere? The longer red stays alive the more of a chance there is that Masty dies. Love it from Shalker. So, Cav Archers, Longbows, and... <laughs> okay, this is so funny. So, he's making petards all sneakily, but he's run out of space in the castle. So, watch. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Miscalculated. There's going to be 20 petards chilling outside the castle. Red goes to Teal now. So, Teal, how will your life be after me defeated? And Macy researches treason again, and we'll get the signal. Um, and the, the first layer of wall will complete. And Detour hasn't said a lot. And <laughs> Detour says, we'll miss you, but no. <laughs> Aww. I mean, again, just because Red's not getting any friendship here, Red has still played a really good game with Diplo. It's just things didn't pan out. <laughs> At least it was a nicer response. I mean, they've all been nice response. 
No, thank you. Not really. We'll miss you, but no. And Azu says, but what about yellow and gray? Well, that's a good tactic now. You try and say that they are going to turn on you and you need me. You think they will allow you to be part of their friendship? Yeah, this is all great Diplo. This is all good stuff. You the next target. Teal says, I die slower with them. That doesn't make sense. I die slower with them. I guess, like... I, I guess I get it. Red says, at this point, I'm at nine vils. King's still in corner. And you walled out my trade, man. Very rude. Oh, I didn't realize that that happened. Oh my god. There's no way this is gonna freaking work. Shulker is putting the petards inside of Macy's castle. He's garrisoned inside Macy's castle, and he's walled it in. How is he getting in there? I swear I saw the petards go... Oh, they're behind it! They're behind it! Yo! Holy crap! The day that Shulker dominates the pros! And Macy's just ramming away, woading away. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, Shulker's... Uh, live look at Shulker's heartbeat. Dun, 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 dun. Shulker's probably losing his mind. Turns, turns, turns. Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the king? Where's the king? Macy's dead. Shulker has killed Macy. He's got another high-level player here. And Macy realizes it and says, Nice job, Shulker. That was impressive. Holy crap. That was epic. That was epic. Sneaky stuff. And obviously, they won't see that it was Shulker, right? They won't know. The others won't know. But this gives Azu a chance. Detour says, wow. So we've got three people left. And, and, and what, a, what a beautiful move there from Shulker. Because you've got to see, right? You've got to understand there's writing on the wall here. The second Red was dead, that's when you die if you're Shulker. So he made his move. And Red surviving like this has allowed that. And now, and now, wait a second. Detour is trying to take Red up on the earlier deal and is accidentally typing to Shulker. So I don't know if Shulker's going to notice that, but Detour now says, so as you were saying, 11. That's a whoopsie. Um. So Teal feels, Teal is scarified. Scar <laughs> Scared of Shulker, terrified, scarified, um, disturbed mints, you know. Teal says, I hope T90 didn't see me screwing up my chat settings 50 times. No, we only saw it 39 times. I missed the other 11. Hmm. Okay, let's look at stockpiles real quick. Um, Azu is screwed. Has two on food, two on wood, zero on gold. Detour, 91,000 wood, 15,000 food, 14k gold with 40 on gold. Shulker has similar resources, has 11 on gold, but 17k in the bank. So they're in a good spot. Detour says, <laughs> I want to kill Shulker together for all the deleted memes. So for those that don't know, I have a memes channel in my Discord. And Shulker is one of my mods. And it's not really Shulker's fault, all right? I made a change to my mods, my, my rules at one point. I was like, I want AOE memes. And a bunch of freaking nerds just started being annoying. And then people found out Shulker was deleting them. And then Shulker wouldn't stop talking to him. And it became a thing where Shulker deletes good memes. So that's what Detour is talking about. And Detour's offering moral support. How's Red's reboom going? I mean, Detour could offer food. If you offer food, then maybe Azu could be back in this game. I love this with Capture Age, by the way. Declared war on Shulker after 1,361 years of friendship. And now Shulker. He says, okay, Red. And is Red gonna have the friendship of both of them now? That's wild that, like, the world's greatest enemy 
is wild. Uh, is gonna have friends now. Detour turned on me, so he'd probably be fighting me now. This is Shulker. Okay. <laughs> Red, this is your chance to have a friend. Red says, well, have fun with that. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, Shulker deserved that because Shulker said not really earlier when friendship was offered. Shulker says, I killed yellow for you. Oh, get out of here. You killed yellow for you and for the people. You didn't do that for Red. Though it did help Red. That's fair. So I could see that. Well, if I'm Red, I'm playing both sides big time. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got you. I'll help you. He seems a little, like, you know, down on life now. Because it's a player who lost his entire base and all of his friends and houses and his homeland. Which is fair. But, I mean, the king's still alive. He's still kicking over there. And he's pondering some stuff. And I think if you could get some type of, of double deal here, maybe you could use it to your advantage. Now, Shulker made Cav Archers, which are not so strong with the Britons. Uh, probably just to run around and snipe kings. And so that was just a throwaway there. And now we have the real Briton strengths, the Longbows and the Arbalest. And Teal's going to lose this fight. Italian archers are a, little, have, are a little bit more armored, but they don't have the range. And then the attack of the Longbows, so... I think Shulker's in a good spot. It's going to take a long time to push, though. Like, this game is still a long way from over. Yeah, so... Shulker's gonna be there. Shulker tells Red that he could delete a dead ally's buildings, which you can do, which is true. Um, so so I, that was just Red, I guess, complaining about the buildup of some of those buildings. You can delete a dead ally's buildings. Orange is supposed to be working and is still giving commentary. So welcome to Ramaranak, my co-caster here. It says, will Gray or Teal delete my markets to deny other trade? That's a fair point. That is a very fair point. Great insights here, my friend. Because they're allied with Orange. They could delete these, and then the trade would not be running anymore. It's actually fun. kind of funny as Shulker was trading. Are they all trading to Orange's markets? Oh, Teal and Gray are trading there. Wait, was Red allied with Orange? No, because Red killed Orange. Okay, so Red can't delete those. So neither Gray or Teal will ever delete these markets. Oh, also, very fair point. Wonder Victory is possible. I always do it for the really long games like this. This is actually a perfect time for Wonder Victory for Shulker. Because your Britons, a, a sieve that's really hard to push, your opponent's on the other side of the map, and Red is basically, he's not back in the game yet. This is Wonder time. Yeah, the, the, why push the whole map and try and push all these fortifications when you can just, just, you know, try the wonder victory here? I think it's definitely worth it. But, you know, players need to think of that, of course. And Shulker is such a mastermind when it comes to sniping kings, he's probably thinking about getting another. He's gotten, he's gotten, not greedy now, but he wants all the glory. Having said that, not going after red right now, so. Um... Well, this should be a fun one. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, obviously, later on on YouTube, salutes to you, my friends. Hope it's been a good one. Thanks for sticking with me. It's been a long video so far, as our community games often can be. I uh, want to say thank you to some of the people who've supported on the stream here, though, over the last hour, because I've missed a bunch. Um, Kettle Punch, thanks for the three months. Thank you, uh, Hannah, Matt, Crashed Monkey, uh, Bodiso, or Bo Bo Bodisayo. Thank you, guys, for the new subs in two months. Thank you, Unknown Zenith. Thank you, Darth, Boston Spartan, to, uh, Wally Boy, the only Fla, and Lordic. Thank you guys for the subs and resubs. We also had some bits from Reagan. Said a, a disagreement is when two people are not able to agree. A disgruntlement is when two people are disgruntled. Yeah. Thank you for confirming that. Disgruntlement's fun to say as well. The skirmishers versus archers, but Britain range. Lots of firepower still. Skirmishers will go down. No, you cannot do a revolution the second time. <laughs> That's a good question, but you cannot do it the second time. What's kind of funny is that red is the better player. Also, look at this. What? What? 
red waltz through the battle? Excuse me? Hold on. So obviously the rally point set here for Teal. <laughs> These villagers are just like, oh, well, <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> and Teal, yeah, Teal clicked those over here. And I guess just never noticed. So those villagers have made it through. If they could finish this wall, it will affect trade. Or like gate this or something. There's also a paladin here. A weak paladin waiting for them. Wow. He was even looking there? Well, maybe. We don't know why he clicked the units. It's easy to say when you're when you're just watching. Will Maesty Siege Onagers fire? Oh, you can't get through that because it's Maesty's gate. Um, Where can you go? Mm, I don't know, but I'll keep an eye on those vills. What? Shoot, shoot. I lost them already. Crap. Okay, there they are. Azuz says, do you guys know how many trade cards I made this game? Zero. Keeping them talking as they're in this big fight. That Shulker's winning, by the way. Shulker's gonna go wonder. I think Shulker, if we look at the market, has been buying a ton of stone. Let's look. Turn it on. Look at that. Yeah, Shulker's thinking wonder. Shulker knows. Shulker just wants to make sure that the fortifications are there before the wonder victory starts. I think the sooner the better, honestly. Because there's a big alert for everyone when the Wonder Victory begins. But it's good that we have Wonder Victory, because Shulker and Teal can't push each other. They'll just stalemate constantly. Okay, there goes that Vill. Here's this Vill. Why is Yellow's Ram moving? Yellow's been dead for a long time. Huh? That's super weird. It's like turning around in circles, too. Hmm. Dear future MJ Good, who's watching this on YouTube later to see how this game ended, because you had to leave to go to get the kids ready to go to a Christmas gathering with a lousy in-law. This is where you left off. Start watching from here. <laughs> All right. That's a great strategy there. Enjoy your time with the lousy in-laws. Great strategy. I still don't know why that ram is moving. Oh, 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 Red walk through the gate. Red walk through the gate. Wow, smart thinking. I mean, I'm telling you. Could could finish this off and, like, affect their trade. Also, nice job from Teal. Teal's made some progress. Shulker is super... Look at Shulker. Shulker's giving up the middle. He's building up. And listen, the thing about Wonders is if you're going to do it, you got to make sure you commit everything to it. It has to be built with 46 villagers. You have to have the fortifications. You commit everything towards that. Losing those trebs, though, isn't helpful. Also, Shulker thinking, where's my king? Shulker's going to send the king to the north as well. This does mean that Teal still has an opportunity to still... Like, everyone could think go for the wonder, technically. It'd be really funny if Red did it, but Red's still booming up. But Red Red has 130 eco now. And Red is has walled off this trade. And that might be something that's tough for players to realize. Obviously, Teal can still go through Yellow's gates, though. Hmm. What the F, says Red. Why'd Red say that? The boat board can convert. Wait. Wait, the boarding boat can convert. Wait, so remember earlier we talked about those boats at the very start? Did Red just lose one of the villagers to a boat? Yeah, I heard it. Oh, it's the paladin. No. What happened? I never really saw them convert. I, I also don't feel like looking over the whole map to find it, to be honest with you. So I think we're just going to skip it. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. Here's one of the villagers. If we see a boat with a villager or a unit next to it, that could be our answer. Clearly, this is an example of that earlier. And yeah, I just heard the noise again. It's behind another wall. Okay, I I'll keep an eye out for it. Anyways, Teal's made some progress here. Orange refuses to go to work and still is sitting here giving us insights from the from the from beyond the grave. 
Shalker, you need room for your wonder. And here we go. Okay, but how many vills? Does Shalker know the number? You can squeeze 46 around a wonder if you click it enough. I'm not going to be particular on the actual number, but if you're building a wonder, guys, you need coverage, all right? Everyone needs to be around that wonder. I'm unimpressed with the amount building it, but there is building happening, which is on the buildings and productions happening, and this is wonder time. And normally I would say that this will end the game and Shulker will win with this. However, Red is back in the game, right? Red is a good player, as we've established. Um, and I also think that the game I saw two weeks ago has really changed my thinking on wonders in these games, especially with Exploding Kings. All it takes is one person getting their king there. And, well, it's going to be tough, but getting the king even close to the battle and dying could clear out enough where Shulker couldn't defend it anymore. So, by the way, for those that saw the stream where I was late for a concert because of that crazy game where they ran out of wood, I did the editing um, or, or like the recording of the final portions of that game and it will be on YouTube. T90 read orange chat. I saw what orange said. B because I say something that I think is the natural direction this game should go and a player happens to do it does not mean that someone gathered their thoughts from the stream. jalker has been around community games for a ton of time. Before every game, before every game I say where the Diplo options are, I say that it's Regicide and it's Wonder Victory and on Exploding Kings. So Orange, by the way, when you were confused on how the Diplo settings worked, I did tell you where to go at the start. So yeah, Shulker has watched me say that a hundred times people need to chill. This is a natural situation, especially in a stalemate game. Azu's thoughts. Who do I want to win the most? Shulker the legend. <laughs> or some guy called Detour. <laughs> okay, so Azu is giving us their thoughts um, as things develop here. <laughs> And Detour is being smack talked, and for us to all see, a Detour did try and kill Red earlier, unprovoked. And Shulker, this is pretty good. Again, it's not fully surrounding the Wonder, but that Wonder's far to the corner, and we are going to see this Wonder complete. So, you know, I think we're just going to see mainly Hussar spam from Red. These stables are new. I'm not seeing any activity over here. I wonder if Red getting these relics is new or if that was just left there. I'm going to assume that's new. Um, you know, the walls haven't you know really affected trade that much, but Red is now walling the gate, and that will affect the trade. And no way Shulker's got a random treb attacking the castle where Detour's king is. What? What? <laughs> He's Britain's as well. There is a chance that if this king's just sitting there, that Shulker gets another one. What? Does Teal realize this? Teal's under a lot of pressure right now. Red's talking. Are you sure you don't need my help with Shulker? Because remember, Teal rejected the help earlier. I do need it. You said 20 minutes. I was waiting for you. Okay. Detour has no clue this castle's being attacked. Well, you still enemy me, says Red, which is fair. Okay. So now they're allied. Where's the rally point set? I would say it's probably forward. Which means that Treb would miss. There's no army here. This is a desperation move from Shulker. He never thought this would work. Okay, there goes the king. That king might be lost forever. That king is going to go into a bunch of bodies, a bunch of army, and not be found again. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's going to walk forward to wherever Trebs were sent last. Crackers was allied with Teal. This is the worst thing that can happen to you in a Diplo game where you lose track of your king. Because I, like, I don't control group it. It does show up if you do idle army, but there's a lot of other idle army on the map. And, oh, wait. Is that pathing? 
Yeah, that's pathing. It's still moving forward. Countdown is on, by the way, for that wonder. That beautiful, beautiful wonder. And Shocker's ready to defend. Shocker's going to win this game. And there it is. <laughs> There's no way Teal finds that, man. But, like, Red won't know about it. I, I mean, Red could maybe see it, but that's, like, hard to spot. You, you, if anything, you're looking here, looking for a flag, and you'd see this and think it's there. I do feel bad for you, Teal, and I would like to snipe you, but... Oh, Cannon Galleons from Teal. That's really smart. But I don't want Shulker to win, so... Here is your king. Oh! How did Red notice that? And then Detour says love you, but says it to everyone, which is kind of funny, because you're 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 not displaying love here. Red says, bring your king to safety, man. Alright. Detour noticed it, and Detour's running home. Great awareness from Red. Good eco here. Red's not looking at anything else. There's no like conversation. Red's just booming. Red's just chilling. Detour saying, thank you, Shocker's gonna have problems against Cannon Galleons. Big problems against Cannon Galleons. I did not remember, I did not think of the ships. There's been some failed relationships in this game, but those arbs are gonna go down. Dang. King will go home now. That trip from Shocker continues to do things. And Red is gonna build up support to try and push the wonder, folks. Dang. Oh, uh, by the way, Shulker's King is amongst the longbows. And I, I imagine that that is something that Shulker does not realize either. And Shulker's not going to have anyone to inform him of this. Because everyone's against him. Skirms and cannon galleons and rams and hussars. This could be really problematic. Oh, but heavy demos on the way from that dock? Oh, man, I can't wait to see some demos on the skirms. Well, the dock's gonna go down, actually. Maybe even before heavy demo completes. Uh, Doubt demo tech. You have to make docks. You have to squeeze them back here somehow. Or over here, maybe. But at least you have a heads up. At least this didn't get really bad really fast. Yes, it's bad. But, like, it's not red being here as well. And... Onager does hit some skirms, but then Onager promptly falls. The king, man. The king is now surrounded by longbows. So he probably had his king in the castle, and then set the rally point forward. And then ejected the king by mistake. And so, like... I'm thinking, at what point does he grab his army? Does he double-click the longbows and click them forward? Which would mean the king isn't selected? Or does he group select them and click them forward? Which means the king goes into battle. Shulker has now turned on red. I forgot they were kind of allied for a bit. That's really bad, I think, to like not be benefited from red's alliance. Look at these buildings, man. Holy crap. And red's like by far the, better play the best player here. Left in this game. Does Detour see this? Does Detour see it? Does Detour know? Detour knows. Or he just clicked in. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. He doesn't know. Neither does Shocker. Nobody knows. Guys, the king is in there. Oh my god. He just wants to kill stuff. <laughs> this is insane. But I think Shocker's concerned. I think he knows he's gonna die. So he definitely clicked the longbows forward, or the longbows are automatically attacking. <laughs> this is stressing me out. <laughs> oh, this is stressing me out. Oh, jeez. 200 years. I don't know if Shocker can hold for another 200 years against these longbows. All right, longboats. Not with longbows. Oh, my God. The king is right there. Shocker killed Ganji and Masty with such epic plays. Panic time. Halbs need to get off the dock foundation. And the king was spotted. Thank God. Oh, my God. Finally noticed it. I mean, we're staring at this screen for so long. He saw it. Probably can't believe that happened. The red is showing up with support. The skirms are not upgraded, though, to elite. I imagine they will be soon. 
Heavy demo is something Shulker needs. He needs Navy here. King is going to be in that castle forever now. Shulker will never make that mistake again. I can promise you that. The docks are a good addition. The halbs coming in against the cannon galleons is a really nice addition. Shulker's still in a position where he can hold. And Azu continues to give us an update on, on Azu's thoughts. Azu's thoughts. I'm going to try and attack Teal from left side after Shulker dead. <laughs> Azu has had such a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Azu is already thinking of the future and letting us know, people. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Why can you do this for me, but you had to speak in Swedish for like an hour? And I had to get it translated. Azu was at 8 pop, stuck in the corner. There's a chance. Do you have any spare gold you can give me for Bombar Cannons, says Azu. Right, last I checked, Teal had a lot of gold. Teal has 18k gold. And wow, Detour sends 8k. Oh, 2400 in tax! Freaking taxes, man! You definitely gotta get coinage in those scenarios, but... Ain't got time for that. Everyone hates taxes. Um, Galleons have been added now, so it's a combination of Galleons and Cannon Galleons. Which again brings up my the importance of Shulker getting demos. Or something, but he doesn't really have that much gold. And the dock is being focused down. He's got dry dock coming in. And then he's got heavy demo. I think Shulker is going to die. And I also don't think Shulker can easily get his king to someone's base to kill them. Which means this turns into a 1v1. Which red can absolutely win with this base. Teal's got all that focus forward. They never killed him off. He just hung around. Heavy demo finally on the way. Oh my god, it's going to be denied again, isn't it? The towers and desperation now coming in from Shulker. Anything he can. He's made it halfway. Heavy demo denied again. Yeah, it's just ships are stronger than land units, guys. This just this is how the game works. Unless, like, maybe monks or something. Or, like, I don't know. There might be some rare scenarios where that's not necessarily the case. This is panic setting in for Shulker. He put all of his eggs in one basket here. But, you know, if he loses that king, all of his his legs in the same casket. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just... A little bit weird, I get it. Uh, Skirms coming forward as well in support. Bombard Cannons and Cannon Galleons will slowly grind Shulker down. And Orange still giving commentary. And Orange says, I'm starting to think Red would have allowed me to sue for peace. To sue for peace? Legal action? I don't know about that one. I'm not sure if that was the word that Orange was trying to use. Next time, I'll be sure to try that before YOLOing. You sue for... Suing for peace? That's a, that's a thing? <laughs> that's a phrase. Yeah, I knew that for sure. Yeah. I'm an American, right? So sue is like... It, you know, it's a big thing here, you know? It's a big worry. So it's like settling. Makes sense. All right. There's not a lot of that. Just a lot of sewage. <laughs> okay, sewage also a different word. When does red start to actually produce things here? Probably, probably not right now, right? They need to make sure they take out the wonder. Every time I look, Shulker's still producing longbows. And like, you know, villagers will die, but this is buying time and stalling. This would be such a sick finish for Shulker if Shulker is able to do this. Still has gold, still has wood, but not a lot of it. And the king's moving further back into the tower, which is smart. But 114 years. If it's not wonder victory, there's no way you win here. T90, did you fail grammar class? Listen, I don't know what it's been, but the last couple weeks have been especially bad for you guys saying words and me thinking they're not a word. And then it turns out it's actually a word. I, I don't know. There's been a lot of discovery 
of the English language for me. So, so yeah, I've also created quite a few words, so I don't know what's happening. But Shalker's army count is not good enough. The army type is not good enough. The skirms and bombard cannons and galleons and cannon galleons will finish off Shalker. Shalker will die. He will not survive this. I am certain of it. We've got Hussars coming in from Teal as well. Trebs coming in from Teal, which have been missing. All hands are on deck here. And, I mean... The Wonders is the only way to win. You toss any body you can except the King to stall and delay this. That's the play. But Wonder Victory was the, was the right attempt here from Shalker. It just looks like it's li too little too late. And it makes you think, what if the Wonder started? Um, look, look at Red try and micro the Bombard Cannons here. Like, he's trying to dodge the shots from Longbows. I wonder what happened if Shalker went for the Wonder like 10 minutes earlier. Because I mentioned it. It took some time. Panic Militia from Shalker, who again, if you missed it, killed the top two players in this game. Masty is still score lead. Masty's been out of this game forever. But now it's decision time for Shalker. Will Shalker recognize this is not going to be the dream win for him? And then run that king somewhere. Knowing Azu, Azu's going to start producing here. Like, right now. Look at this eco. It's clearly just a very talented player, right? Clearly very solid. I said it at the start. That wonder will not survive another 70 years. The king for Shalker in the north. Maybe he prefers to die this way. Die with the wonder. But cannon galleons and trebs are here. There goes that king. King making a run for it. Shalker can have one more say. He can kill one more king today. But he has to use his king to do it. Wonder falls. As Shalker is now on the move. Now, how long does it take for someone to research trees in here? This is Teal and Red's perspective. The Hussars seem to be chasing that vill. No, no, no. Teal just moved them further. Teal knows. Teal knows. Teal knows. I think. I thought. Orange is still here. Orange, tell your boss I said hello. Shulker maybe will... <laughs> Shulker wants a relic? <laughs> hey, it's a free relic. Treason has been researched, Shulker. I don't know if relic gathering is really going to pay off for you. <laughs> that is a long-term decision. And oh my god, Azu is already here! Azu is already here! And Shulker's on the move, and this is what Teal's focusing on. Look at that! Did Red delete army here to get pop space? Or just have a lot of it? Dang! Back from the dead, people! Back from the dead, and Detour notices this. And Detour is being swarmed by Hussars from two different angles. Castles are going gonna go down. The king is in this castle. Shalker's still on the run. And, like, Shalker might be headed towards Teal. Shalker is not headed towards where Red's king is. And, I, you know, Genoese crossbowman, a good unit. Teal is all this investment forward. Teal didn't see this coming. Teal's just got completely caught out here. And I don't know what Azu's thoughts are right now, but maybe we'll get some. Azu's probably very satisfied with how this has played out and predicted this well before that wonder was close to going down. And Teal paid for this. Teal paid for the weaponry that is destroying his own civilization right now. Isn't that crazy? 8k gold was sent to Red, and Red didn't really use that much of it to help kill Shulker there. Dang. Now here comes Shulker. This is gonna be funny. Shulker has no clue this is happening. Like, what you can see as a player is you can see the dead bodies. If But, like... <laughs> I think it's hilarious to me that Shulker... Well, what could be interesting is if Shulker goes across the map and goes to Red's corner. I don't know if there's a way to get in there, though. I don't know. They're distracted. Maybe Shulker can reboom now. Here comes the panic ships from Teal to defend. And Teal is defending. Detour is defending, folks. The Hussars, the Arbalest, the, the, the Genoese, the numbers are high. A lot of the golds disappearing here in the form of Bombard Cannons dying to Hussars. Shulker! Shulker is getting attacked by skirmishers from Detour! Shulker! Goes down! 
Detour gets the kill, but Detour doesn't know it. Detour's got 140 army right now. Salutes to Shulker for a great game. Both the, I mean, the snipes were epic. But, um, you know, the, I mean, the, the one snipe against Masty was epic. The wonder attempt was also a great play. Was it a little late? Maybe, right? It took a little bit too long with the fortifications, maybe. Gave Red time to reboom. But, I mean, Teal and Red played really well against it. It's hard to be too critical of anything Shulker did. Is this orange referencing my my lack of intelligence here with I'm an American too? Because there's a delay from live time. So orange is hearing what I say on the stream. And then thanks for bringing that back up. We must have watched different shows growing up. Yep. Played the same game though. Yep. <clears throat> thanks for uh, clarifying that one. Red's King is in the corner. In Ganji's tower, which is very fitting, honestly. Um, there's not really much more that can be said about that. And Red's push has continued here. But the king is in this Bombar Tower. Yeah, Bombar Towers will not go down to Hussars, though. There's no way. I gotta check stockpiles again. Resource stockpiles. Wow. Wow. 85 on food for Azu, who actually receives gold with farms with the Burgundians. Um, 10 on food for Detour. So Azu has more food in the bank, more on food, and because they both have zero gold units, Red is bringing in more gold income. Red's going to win this game. What a legendary performance from Azu. Who was, who was the clear number three in terms of the pecking order of the big names in this game, right? There was Ganji, his original teammate, who he thought about killing, and eventually didn't need to. Masty. And then Azu. But the Diplo from Azu was fantastic. I'm not sure about the Bombard Cannon Micro, but, uh, you know, things happen. And they just figured a player stuck in the corner behind walls would not be a problem for them. And they were very, very, very wrong. Now... It's going to take a bit, I think, to really grind down Teal. But in terms of resource income, Red set to be able to do this all day. Teal needs to kill the king. That's actually the thing. Is like, Treason was researched at some point. You need to somehow get there right now. But you also need to defend yourself. And when you're seeing mainly skirmishers, you're going to show up here with the Hussars. Now, guys, what Teal did not see... Is that Red said, who do I want to win here? The Legend Shulker? Or some guy named Detour? And Detour's like, you will remember this name. I'm not just some guy. I am THE Detour. Capital D, Detour. And all that gold that's coming in from the farms is getting chewed up. The bomber cannons have gone down. We've got Hussars as well from Detour. You've got Genoese Crossbowmen that can combine with the Hussars too, which could be strong. You've got Navy coming in to start taking out these buildings. And Detour is not finished yet. What a great game. This game's been fantastic the whole way through. Orange says, with Red playing as well as he has, I'm glad he was the one that killed me. Thank you yet again, Orange, for the update. Uh, no Hussars here to protect the ships and the Treb, which is a big problem for Teal. And Red realizes, in for a challenge here. Now, the Italian Hussars are superior because they have more HP. No bloodlines for the Burgundian Hussars, which is part of the problem here. Genoese crossbow Crossbowmen also do bonus damage against Cav. So those are the things that are really in play here helping. I just wonder, like, you know, Detour doesn't have the farm setup. So I think this might carry on for another 10 minutes, but eventually Detour runs out of food, I think. Let's, let's check the stockpiles again. Yeah, yeah. So, like, before it was, like, 20k food for both. They've chewed through that very quickly. Yeah. Red can spam Hussars forever, and Detour cannot. And I don't know how much Detour knows about that. Obviously, like, Detour has been raided a little bit as well. But you've got to somehow get to that king, and I just don't know if you can do it and stay alive at the same time. It takes so much focus from a player to defend themselves here. What a wild game. Guys, Red killed the lagger. 
Red killed orange, who's now my co-caster. Red killed green. But red played a big role in a lot of the other deaths here as well, right? Obviously, Shulker had those two epic snipes. Wonder how this game goes if Ganji doesn't accidentally send his king to the woodline there. Very attentive from Shulker there to see that and snipe. I couldn't believe that. I'm hearing ships. That would actually be sick. You send cannon galleons through here? That's your best way. Um, I just heard dinging. Okay, the, the ships are coming home. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be, like, probably just a rally point is set, and it's a bit tricky. But, I mean, you know, if you group them up, and they're all fighting, that could be really good. Detour said, should not have sent that 8k gold. <laughs> yep. That definitely didn't help. Alas, such is life. GG, Detour's gonna call it. Detour had a great game. And as you responds with the GG, I don't think we're going to have a fake GG situation. I think that Teal recognizes that there's just no way to win this now. And that the only honorable way to go out in a game such as this is to let Red have the king, to bend the knee, and to be killed. GG's in chat for that one. What a great game from Azu. Who initially had that alliance. Azu was was Swedish diploing before the game even started. Like, hey, Ganji, I'm from Sweden, too. I'm from Sweden. I'm from Sweden. Had probably knew Ganji, because Azu's been around the scene. Knew Ganji from Sweden, pro player and all that. Used that initially to the advantage. What I noticed is, like, Azu was very pliable and very creative with who to talk to when, right? When, when things were looking like Ganji was going to steamroll everyone, there were some backdoor deals being made where Azu was trying to get information on Ganji. But then realized that Ganji was already dying and was like, ooh, actually, let's not do any deals with him. Let's, let's go for somebody else. And, and that eventually stems to a point where there were like three people against him and he ran away. He saved himself in Ganji's base for a while. He walled himself into the freaking corner. And reboomed back to win this one. A legendary win. And not only that, but like amongst this whole thing were fantastic storylines. Shulker, uh, the player who jokingly Ganji put a target on. Ganji said Shulker's the problem because Ganji knew he'd be picked on. Shulker killed Ganji. <laughs> and then Shulker killed Masty, who is still top score. Look at the bottom bar here. That is when Masty died. Masty died a f over an hour ago game time. And Masty's still top score due to how good Macy was in this game, too. So uh, it was a, a fun one the whole way through. I would not have predicted Red would win once Red's whole base was destroyed, though. That was something else. Um, Red killed more units than anyone. 1,700 units in this game. Um, I want to see total pop, though. Can we just see total population graph? Oops, oops. Okay, so there's a lot of text there, which is kind of in the way. <laughs> Red went down to 10 pop at one point. Detour was sitting at 160. Shulker was sitting at 130 at that time. Uh, and then had to rise all the way back up and reboom back to glory. Ridiculous stuff. And I wonder if that's achievable with like without the Burgundians. I wonder how much the gold income from the farms help. There's a lot of tiny bonuses there. But um, yeah, I mean, other things to look at here, obviously, is the economy. Look at that food. Not all of that was, was with the reboom. Obviously, the eco was good before then. Also, winning with zero trade profit in a community game is bonkers. There were two people that didn't have any trade. Blue, who was killed early because of the lag. And then, and then Red, the player who won, killing, Ma uh, you know, contributing and killing at least Masty and all these other players who who had the trade profit. Um, but I mean, you do also get gold from the farms, which at least helped. Uh, Relic gold obviously wasn't too bad either. A fun game. Not exactly sure how we're gonna title that one. There's there's like the more traditional end screen, showing the total population. I think this is, oh, it's villagers, fishing ships, and trade units. Why is that there? There, that's that's a better representation of total pop. Look at that! 
barely alive. Look at that. Was bleeding out on the ground and somehow returned for glory to sit on the throne. Amazing play from Azu. And uh, everybody, though, fantastic stuff. Well played. What about the AP? How fast? It wouldn't be funny if he was fastest then. No, that'd be funny. I was waiting for a big peak in speed right there. <laughs> you could see how fast Ganji was until he got killed by Shocker. GG.